two of gardening for this week. Um, this morning, I went ahead and mowed the lawn, did some weed whacking in the front yard, sprayed weeds in the front yard, and then made a Menards trip, which I just so happened to pick up a few things at Menards. The first one being a new set of trimmers because I need to trim the shrubs, um, my hydrangea brushes in the backyard. I don't think I'm gonna get to that today, but I'm hoping that that will be for tomorrow. Um, I also have some plants over here that I need to deadhead. Um, these are the ones that I got from Costco and they did not last very long. I think they got a little frosted, the flowers originally that were blooming on them. So the project right now is to deadhead them a little bit, um, water them up and give them some food. Um, but first, let me show you what I picked up today at Menards. These are so pretty. They're a hanging plant, but of course I won't use it as a hanging plant. But the combination of white, red, and purple, and I don't know what these are called because there is no tag. But I got something very similar last year. I want to say it starts with a C. Someone can probably tell me. I think they look like million bells, but I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. So I ended up getting two of these because they were only like $12 or something like that. And then, what else did I get? I got another plant. Oh, I bought a plant that's a little bit like this size. I just got like a mixed geranium plant. It's got like pink geraniums and like the little poof thing in the middle of grass to go by my front door. So I'll have to show you that later. Um, Cause that's already setting up there. So my goal for today is to get these plants that I've had sitting on my porch because we've had a lot of frost. I think we're done with frost now. At least this week I looked at the weather and we shouldn't have any more frost. So I'm going to get the flowers put out here on my patio space, but first I'm going to give them a little love. Like I said, I need to give them a little trim and feed them and water them. So that's what I'm going to do and then I will replace and then I'll be placing my new plants as well around on my patio. And that might be all I get done today, I'm not sure. So let's go and get started.
picked up a little baby um, tomato plant. So I'm going to put it in this little pot for right now. So I'm not quite ready to plant it yet. I'll put this out on my table so I can get in the sun. feel like I am on a roll here. I have two days in the garden in a row. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. <laughs> so I have two main projects for today that I would like to get done. The first one being deadhead all of my hydrangea plants. I think I have like eight or nine of them. It shouldn't take me too long. And the second project is to mulch at least half of the garden. The other section where I have done the um, weed killer looks like I'm going to need to do that one more time. So if I'm lucky, I'll get those first two things done and I will also get another coat of the weed killer down in the garden bed that I want to kill everything in. So it is a beautiful day out. It is sunshiny. I thought it was going to rain this morning, but it didn't. We may get a little rain this afternoon. So I've got my grubby clothes on and I'm ready to get some work done in the garden. First thing I'm going to do is some weed whacking. When I mowed the lawn the other day, I never got around to weed whacking. So I'd like to get that done first. That shouldn't take me more than five minutes. So let's get started. Can you guys see the state of my yard? It is ridiculous. There are so many dandelions. I seriously just mowed a day and a half ago and they are all in bloom. I mean, it, granted it is pretty, but knowing that they're weeds makes it not so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. 
everyone it is Saturday morning which I think makes day four here in the garden this week and it'll be our final day this week as well um, <laughs> yesterday I did not get my two main jobs finished the mulching and trimming the shrubs I still have three hydrangeas four hydrangeas to prune so I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna do some good old-fashioned <laughs> weeding before I put the mulch down in the area that I want the mulch today. So I'm hoping that I can at least get those two things done today. So I'm feeling a little stressed as to what still needs to be done in the yard. I feel like I've been doing a lot of work, but it doesn't seem like anything's getting done to the point where I can actually, you know, garden normally and not have huge projects of weeding and all that kind of stuff. Um, mostly I'm stressed out at this point because it's already planting season. Normally here in Minnesota, I plant around the 12th or the 12th of May and it is already the 15th so normally within that first week of may 12th i like to have my seeds in the ground because i do not plant or pre-plant anything inside and make seedlings or anything i just sow directly into the ground so my cutting garden hasn't even been touched yet this year so that is going to be a majority of what i'm going to be working on next week so that being said, I would love to get as much as I can done in the rest of the garden today. So it's about 10 o'clock right now. I've got about an hour and a half before I have to go run someone to their job, and then I have to pick them up at 5 o'clock. I'm hoping once I drop them off, I can have lunch, relaxation time, because it is Saturday, and I don't want to give that up, um, and then get back into the garden after 5 o'clock tonight. So I'm hoping that that plan will work for me today. So cross your fingers that we can get a lot done. So let's go ahead. First things first, I'm going to finish up trimming the hydrangea the shrubs and get that done. And then we will move on from there.
so it is round two in the garden this afternoon. You see these doggies playing? So it's round two in the backyard for the day. Um, I had lunch, I had a nice nap, picked you up from work. Now it's five o'clock and I'm ready to tackle this area over here on the other side of the playhouse here. Over here. I am going to grab my weed whacker and get the weeds cut down first. And then I'll finish trimming the hydrangeas. And from there, do some weeding and hopefully and mulch. Right. So I have finally finished up this and I've gotten all the weeds cut down in this section, which is awesome. I'm gonna let the weeds kind of like die out from the sun for a couple days. Then I'll come in and spray what's left of the weeds. And then get some mulch on the sucker. They're looking good. All right, so now we're gonna move on over here and we're gonna do some weeding and hopefully get some mulch down today as well. So I got a couple buckets of weeds out of that section that I showed you, and I think I'm going to be done for the night. It's almost seven o'clock and my body is tired. So <laughs> I'm gonna take a nice relaxing rest of the evening. I was gonna maybe have a fire, but I'm thinking I probably won't even stay up that late tonight. So <laughs> the rest of the weeding and the mulch will have to wait till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 